okay guys so front door the minute you enter this is what you're seeing i'm actually doing this in this 0 0.5 aspect, aspect ratio so you can see everything so the first thing you're going to notice is it's quite a big lounge which i quite like so i've decided to put a bar area here i've put my couch there's still a lot of space i've not done a dining room but like i said it's still work in progress and then i just shoved my treadmill in here so this is just the overlay of the lounge and then i'm going to show you the kitchen then we'll get into the details so this is the kitchen and as you can see here i just love the fact that everything is just kind of hidden or nestled behind cupboards so you don't see you know what's going on so now i'm gonna zoom back in normal and i'm gonna talk you through everything but if you're standing in the lounge this is the view of the kitchen and if you're standing in the kitchen this is the view of the lounge so really nice because especially if you're entertaining whoever's watching tv it's just all one which i quite like and then a balcony so now let's get into it so let's start from here Dun -dun -dun -dun. okay now you're gonna see it up close Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is this. And sorry, it's a long video, but I'm giving you guys details here. So this entire console is from Softy Home. And my whole thing is about bougie and budget, right? So the main thing for me is that I wanted a nice little drinks area. A lot of those carts I felt were circular. It wouldn't hold everything. I wanted something very block type. So I actually got this. I ordered it from take a lot i believe but they're also on instagram and i've just like displayed all of my drinks here i can tell i'm gonna run out of space but you know at the end of the day it serves its purpose and i love the fact that i can sweep or clean underneath it and just looking at it in more detail it's quite nice tempered glass and then you've got the gold accents here so yeah it's really nice i think it gives a premium feel to all the drinks all right so that is the bar area now let's go to the tv section so you'll realize this about me i'm always having air fresheners around this entire thing oh let me give you prices so this was three thousand rand this was two five because mr price comes through with the best home consoles and then the tv i forget what brand it is i think it's a samsung tv a TV is a TV, right? But the main thing is I wanted something that wouldn't stand out. And no matter where I move or go to in life, this glossy finish will always just be like, you know, kind of in in fashion, if that's the word. Um, and I don't even keep much in here, but I just keep all the manuals. I'm not a person that likes to hoard things. You see, these are just the manuals that I moved in here. Then this I actually got from H&M Home. It gives me Versace vibes and this. And then I've just got um, a little ornament and then this nasty girl book in here. And I like to just keep it simple, you see? So if we're sitting, standing here, that just bleeds into that. And maybe I should get a plant there, we'll see. <laughs> that is a funny story. I posted my first TikTok like that went viral with that and I called it a fake aircon. People were laughing at me, but it's the one, it's from Game. It's 1.5 and it's really nice when you just want to cool the place down and you put water in the back. Then I've got my magazine section. So here I think I'll do like maybe a nice plant, right? But my magazine section and I've got this again from Mr. Price. It just holds a catch-all and kind of put your Vogue in here. Then curtains. Friends, what do I tell you about curtains? Curtains are so expensive. So I literally just got these from Mr. Price. They're simple. They're not so see-through, but they're not as thick as I like. Um, but they were like 500 rand for one drop. And then I think there's another one. Sorry, the light's messing with me. And then I got this, which is from Mr. Price as well. See, I've already stained my curtain. But I really love it. It's all about details. Okay, so let me take a step back. And then you can just look at the curtains. Sorry. There we go, much better. And it's, I love again a rod because I think it just makes everything look much, much more cleaner. Then here, I have put my treadmill because there's nowhere else to put it. You know, this is real life. I mean, really, what else are you going to talk about it? So I've got some space there. And then this couch. I think the couch for me was probably, if I just zoom back out again, was one of the most expensive purchases. But again, it's from at home. It's just such a good quality. Um, it's from the Tokyo range. And this was, I'll link everything. This was on sale. It was 25 and I got it for like 18. But I've had it for so long. And again, 
bougie and then budget this is from mr price i love it because i don't have a dining room table so i'll just sit and then you can just eat on that or you can work and watch tv they're my cushion so i like to mix it up this cushion you can tell because it's the same kind of vibe as that is from at home but then that and that is that's from mr price and then that is from h m home again it's that whole i like it it gives me versace vibes and just a blanket for you know at night and yeah you can separate that but i like to keep it all one and then the carpet is from china mall believe it or not it was i think 2000 then yeah and then here we've got this, which is from at home. I think they're called nesting tables. It goes underneath each other. My one friend called out. He said he felt like it was so tiny in retrospect to everything. But, you know, it works for me. Um, and then I, I always collect Vogue's from around the world. So my sister got me that. Really loved it. And then, again, you know, when you were talking about you know, just having a really, really like luxe feel to your place, I got this it's now like six months that I have it. It's from at home and it just, it smells like a luxury boutique. And then I got these, it's little details. So these are really nice. They're like my drink holders and this is from at home as well. At home, you need to sponsor me. I've got everything from here. And again, keeping it very practical guys, as you can see, extension cord, because who else knows that all we're doing is sitting and we are literally working from our couches, right? Then my other piece, just to kind of separate, let me go out again, as you can see, is also from Softy Home. So can you see, there's that nice little detail there, and then there's that detail there, all right? So this here is from Softy Home. I think this was about 1.5, and then it's got like a nice plush feel to it. No one sits on it. I tell people not to sit on it. It's just for aesthetics. <laughs> all right, so that's the lounge, guys and more pan through because i know when i watch these videos people move so fast so i was like okay cool let's just definitely do it a bit more slow but definitely whoop as they say so now here i think for me it's still very much needs to decide what i'm going to do here i did get that that's fake from mr price and then there's one more of these because they were like about two they were on sale i think they were like 150 originally they were 300 from h&m home and then Mr. Price plant. And then what I wanna get here is just like to hold all the keys, just put it in here. I'm not gonna talk about this. This is all my meds that I take every single day, but this tray is really, really nice because it, it's it's from H&M Home, but you can just say, okay, this is the lot I need to have every single day. Now let's get into the kitchen. Okay, so we're here. Okay, friends, I needed to have a cup of coffee. Now I'm back with more energy. So here's your kitchen. Cool. So first thing, I love the fact that most things are hidden here so you don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm really for these glossy cupboards. They're also like these anti-slam. Can you see? So it's really nice. It doesn't kind of slam shut. So let's start here. So calling this, let me go zoom in and out. Calling this my coffee area, cooking area and then we'll get there. So let's go back in. All right, so let's start here. I've tried every single coffee machine and let me tell you Nescafe is the one. Dolce Gusto, you just put water in the back and you're good to go and it's easy to clean. And I love the fact that this sits just for here. So that's all that needs to happen. Then I got this cute little basket. It's from H&M Home. A lot of things are from H&M Home. I think it was like 70 Rand. And I put all my pods in here. I'll do another one about my pods, but this is my favorite, the flat white. And now I'm really very cheekily into the caramel macchiato. So this is the coffee and then this is the milk. One of my least favorites is this. If this, this has no personality. This is a person I can't be friends with. <laughs> Anyway, so I keep that there. Um, so again, tablets, like I told you, coffee section. Now I know when people do this, they never get in and I get irritated. So let's go into the drawers. So here, firstly, um, everything here is from Mr. Price, literally, except for those Woolworths bags. So it's again, it's little things like this that just take it to a different level. This entire set was 300 Rand from Mr. Price home. Love it. This, if you grew up in Durban, you know, this is the knife to have. So, yeah, I kind of put that in. Baggy clips of chips. And then this is from Mr. Price. And then, yeah, nothing more to see here. And then in here, oops, 
I've just got my plates there and then I've got these smaller pans. I'll do a full kitchen tour later. But yeah, so there's that. Then this is just like coffee type stuff and oats and everything. You see, I'm so, no matter how bougie I can get, Rue Coffee is still there. <laughs> anyway, um, then it's a Smeg stove. So I'm going to tell you I've used this four times in total. I'm just, I'm just not a fan. Like, let me show you. So you put the gas on. I'm just, this, this thing is what irritates me. See, oh, you saw it. Did you see it? Did you see it? There we go. I'm just, no, I'm not a gas person. But anyway, you do what you do. Now here's a tip guys, okay? Bougie, bougie budget. So what I mean, I never use this dishcloth and I know that it gives us such a great feel. So I've hung it here, it just takes it to a different level. I use a different one. That is from Mr. Price, literally. It's a bathroom mat. So I've always just put it here, it's so plush. So you've just gotta balance things out. Then I've got my air fryer. I just bought my air fryer, that's why it has a sticker on it. Don't worry, I'm not one of those people. Um, so yeah, I like it because it fits into the cooking area. Then here is just like, you know, rice and cooking type stuff then this is all snacks i try to keep it awkwardly there so i'm not always going for it and then all these containers i got from at home and mr price i was shooting a tiktok so my stand is there air freshener again cutting boards russell hobbs mirror microwave if you know you know then i never open these blinds because i don't want to see people i don't want to make eye contact so i keep that closed but there's enough light and then, yeah, you know, just two sinks. I keep the cloths in this one. I wash here, even though there's a dishwasher. And I really love this. this is, I've literally had this for months, this hand wash. This is from Mr. Price. And then here we have the dishwasher, but I never use it, guys. I'm, I just, it's not in my world to use a dishwasher, sorry. I'm buying bananas, it's gonna go in here. And then we have the, twin set i would call it but they're not from the same brand so this is from hayden it's a new brand it's uk but you can find it at, at home for me it's a dupe for a smeg i love it it's cute it's tiny it's what it needs to be and this is russell hobbs i'm gonna be very honest with you even though it's cute this thing irritates me but i'm gonna leave it for cuteness and it's got this nice diamond kind of thing i do like that there's a nice light here it just kind of takes things to another level now you're ready for OCD, okay? <laughs> Scuff teen life, container life, there we go. As you can see, I keep everything neatly here, mainly Woolworths. And then I've got a lot of those mini sew shops. And then I've got some at home stuff, okay? And then spice cupboard and then extra milk up there. And yeah, this is really nice. This is, this is from Mr. Price actually, it's these steps. Oh, look, new flavor of cooking bake. So yeah, I really like that all my spices are here. And again, anti-slam. I actually completely forgot to show you guys this. This is the washing machine here. Um, and it sits behind there. So I'm not sure how I forgot to put this in. I was walking through. But yeah, washing machine, life saver. Now the thing that I've got the most, most comments for. Can you guess? <laughs> this because wait for it and i have no groceries so don't judge me i'm going shopping okay there we go i mean i don't know what to say about it because i'm not one of those youtubers like that will talk about what's in their fridge but it does what it needs to do you know what i mean but that's coming my full tour of how i'm gonna fill this fridge up but yeah i like it and see i'm gonna show you things are not perfect the, this is a snake fridge, but this freezer, those baskets keep cracking, which is what I don't like. But yeah, it's all built in. There we go. And then more OCD. This is this is the packets broom cupboard. So we've got the broom, we've got the ironing board, checkers, the Woolworths bags, gift bags, duster. I need to sort that out. And then my iron. And then just so you can see, there you go. You see, everything has a place and there's a place for everything. So, yep, definitely. And then going back in, tiles are pretty simple. There's that light and then there's that light there. 
and that's how we go here and then from here let's walk outside Whew, this video is getting very long so here we are just did my washing this i got from leroy merlin this sorry i'm pointing so it's a nice little table set but i'll do a full balcony thing then covered bry and outside Alrighty guys, so now to the bedroom. Okay, and then you get to the hallway. There is me looking like a mess. So this mirror is from at home and I actually also got this on sale. It was marked down to 2,000 Rand. Let me show you details. Let me go close. I mean, look at this. It's just got that really nice like antique vibe to it. So it was just perfect for this area. And you know, great for outfit of the days. Outfit of the days, outfit of the day, <laughs> the days of our lives. Because then main bedroom, disclaimer, not complete. But the reason I'm doing this is because I'm so tired of all those videos with perfect homes. We need to show progress. So first thing you'll notice, let me go into zoom out, is this bathroom that's in my bedroom. Nope, you will never catch me using this. I don't want the smell, I don't want the mist. I want none of this admin. I have another bathroom, I'll use it. This was a waste, but it is what it is, right? I won't lie, it looks really nice. I, I mean, There's a situation with the mirror that I need to fix, it needs to come back here. I might do like my beauty routine here, but definitely no bathing or using of that, nope. I did, let me go in here. I did put my anthropology stuff here. So it looks really, really nice. Oh, it smells amazing. And then I put a really nice towel. That towel had never been used. And then these mats are actually from, wait for it, game. Yep, game. Hmm. And then that's from H&M Home. And then that mirror needs to be fixed as a situation with it. So let me close this so you guys can see what is going on. So here's the bolt-ins here. I won't lie. The best thing is having all of this space. I don't really want to show you my cupboards because they're not neat. But... There we go. You can see right to the top. Really, really nice. I'm not gonna show you that one. <laughs> this is my work one. I've got like casual stuff and then I've got work stuff. So this is my work one. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to move less from black into more color. Then I've just folded extra stuff here and then sleepwear up top. So yeah, I really, really like it. And these covers are quite nice. I won't lie, these do come loose at times. And then we've got the last one not going to show you that cupboard then let me let me do one more view and then i'll go closer so that's it there okay so now this carpet you can see i put my heater on it and it burnt when it was in my lounge but um i really like it it's like this full carpet from mr price this was one eight yeah no 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 i lie it was two thousand so this for me is the focal point and everything else must be muted the bedding i Everything doesn't match because this is work in progress. So the bed I think I got from Bed King. The duvet I got from Mr. Price. So Mr. Price always does it. And the thing is for me, it's like just my sheets need to be expensive. The actual duvet, I want to change it like the colors. So yeah, um, this is from Mr. Price. This is from at home. And then I need to get my headboard. Pillows are pillows. I've got my scale there, my digital scale. Because every day I want to remind myself of my goals. Bought something from Mango, and then as you can see, can you see why I don't want it to, to use this? I want to be sleeping there, and then I just use that. No, thank you. Then this is my view. I won't lie, I really, really love it. And then curtains. So again, rod situation, which is what I like. Now everything I'm about to show you. Oh, sorry. This also is what I like. It's got the bolt in. Oh, so then this absolutely makes it super dark which is great for when you don't want to wake up. <laughs> okay, now this is all work in progress. I've got nothing from it. So this is make do. And for the girls that are watching this, that are still trying to get their lives together, may this inspire you because life is not perfect. So that is from Mr. Price. It literally is 199 Rand. That's a 99 Rand mirror. I have this light because I was shooting something. Don't worry about the light. The light doesn't stay there. And that is how I get dressed in the morning. That's my Zara blazer. I'm trying to get it tailored. And then I've got this entire stand is from Mr. Price. It's one of those DIY situations. 
So here I've got my hair stuff and it'll look untidy because this is life. We are doing our hair. Not everything is hidden. Then I've got my some of my hair stuff in here. Random shit I need to definitely sort out. I've got a present from a friend. Shout out to you, Nikki, if you're watching this. I need to sort those papers out. <laughs> then there's me. Um, then I've got my jewelry box. Again, random gum. Oh, let me go closer. Jewelry box needs to be sorted. Then I've got my watch. Then I've got my... Why do I display everything when only I, I only use this, but I love Burberry. Then I've got these smaller ones here from Zara. Free sample from Chanel. We love free things. Gum. And then I actually got this. This is a, a travel bag from Zara. It's so nice. But I just put some of my like jewelry in here and clips from Sheen. Random candle because it's load shedding. And yeah, you know. And then this goes outside. So let's just quickly zoom out again. So as you can see, this has an opportunity to have a really nice dresser, mirror. But, you know, I'm spending my money on other things. So don't be pressured. And then there we go. That's the look. Okay, now let's go outside. So we've got quite a big balcony. Oops. This is from Leroy Merlin. I actually made this myself, which is quite nice. I should have gotten a bigger one. Got a step we've got a washer hanger dryer then we have a bride that i hardly ever use got a cupboard i can do something here definitely wool that's for the ants and then we're back in there we go it's quite a nice view okay friends let's go to bathroom so first look We've got a really nice mirror with the lights. I won't lie, like this for me was a major selling point. We've got the main sink area. We've got the bath. I mean, we've got the shower, <laughs> toilet. We've got the bath and this is, I really love the tiles. And then looking in this way. Okay, now let's talk about everything. Okay, let's start here. Yeah. So one of the things that I do like is this really long cupboard. I'm not going to try and show you too much in here because it's not neat, but I've put like makeup stuff, I've put other stuff here, lotions, I haven't even used that, so I quite like it, and it's also the anti-slam shot. Then, there I am, here, let me not zoom in now, so here, I do like that this mirror, as you can see, it has that light behind it. Now, I bought this from H&M Home, I think it was like 150 and then I put my main everyday products, skincare products here. So it's not just for show, I use this every day. And another thing is like get some get something like this. This is from Mr. Price. It's the same color and I use it as my toothbrush holder. This is literally from Woolworths. So you know you always see them. This I'm even out of. But again, it's that like copper gold color and it runs through and it really lifts everything. And then here I've got this from H&M Home. So just a really nice hand towel. I mean, a shower is a shower. I'm also, it's weird, like, if I hang something here, the doors don't close, just so you know. So I've just used this, and I've put, like, all my main things here that I need. For my shower, I'll do a full, like, routine. Then here, I've actually got this bin. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me fix this. Okay, cool. That bin's from Mr. Price. Um, I don't put anything on the windowsill because when the wind hits it, it falls. I've had twice things fall in my toilet, so I tend to keep that very, very simple. Then here, I have mismatched towels, but the goal is to have them like, for all the same. That's like from Mr. Price as well as H&M Home. Now, you've seen this before in my lounge, so I have a consistent, great aroma uh, bath. Then my day-to-day, -day, like daily towel. And then here... It's from Mr. Price. I love these bubble situations. I keep that for the ants. Love that, and I've got it here as well underneath. It, it irritates me, OCD me, that it's not straight, but I'm getting over that. Then here, there's a whole lot of mishmash, but mainly my, my toilet rolls are in here. <laughs> so I keep that in there. And yeah, friends, that is it. That is 
my bathroom. So tips here, whatever's on your counter, that really lends to the premiumness of it all, if I have to say. So again, having those little gold trays and stuff really takes it to another level. And then your carpets. If you do carpets and you do accessories, you can make the whole place look really, really good and stick to one color, so to speak. So I'm carrying this gray through from the lounge, as you can see, and my bedroom. Okay, so coming out of the bathroom, you have this mini section. In my head, I think it's my dream closet, but I keep my bags and my shoes. Now, disclaimer, this is not neat because we're doing a real apartment tour. So I've got like sandals, random shoes there. That needs to go back into its box, these two sneakers. And then I've got some shoes in here and then I've got my sneaker boxes here and I've got some space. But let's talk you through it. Okay, so... Down here, you can see I ordered from Shein, that's Zara. But I need to put all my shoes back into these plastic ones that I bought. These shoe boxes. So, yeah, I definitely need to get that. I need to learn to put my sneakers back into their box. So, these are my favorite sneakers. These are my favorite sneakers. And then this is what I ordered from Shein, these shoes. I bought them in green and black. So, yeah, that's me, see, you know, putting it back. And then these are all the boxes for what you saw. And I still have space up top. Then here are bags, so laptop bags, bags of bags that I've bought. Then here it's more like chains and accessories, bags that I would definitely use, card holders and sunglasses. Then more clutches and wallets, hats, toiletry bags, oh, the days we used to travel, and then um, backpacks. So yeah, definitely this is what it is. And if I zoom out, there we go. All right, one day, here's my Russell Hobbs microwave box. One day I will have a full walk-in closet, but these are golds. These are golds. <laughs> and then we close. Now we need to go in here, which is the office. Okay guys, so now we're getting into the office. I am gonna try and put a clip of what it looks like at night. It looks way better at night because of the LED. But just so you can see what's going on, this is my main work area, and because it gets so messy, I like to keep it hidden here. This is still a work in progress. I want to get a monitor arm and stuff. Then I've got my, like, my chair that's so comfy. Then I've got an extra desk there if I just want to put like another laptop tray into it as a standing desk, extra boards, because I don't like sticking things on the wall. Then I've got a, a nice, I call it my display cabinet. So when I'm shooting videos, that's in my background. Then I've got a tripod. Then I bought this from Mr. Price Home. It's like a nice screen, because again, if I turn around my chair, I could shoot behind it. I've got an extra chair because I just bought that, so that needs to go and that's stuff I need to unbox. And I've got a fan, and then I've got this really nice carpet from China Mall, an extra carpet, and then shoes, and then built in. Now let's go through it in detail. Okay, so the first thing is this. I have to say, I'm super proud of this desk. Now, you know how we want to have IKEA in South Africa, but we don't. There is a company that imports a lot of this stuff. So they've got this. So I assembled this desk. So this is the famous Alex Draws desk that you've seen. That is for my laptop for work. That's my personal laptop, my iPad for watching work with me videos and stuff or my notes. And then keyboard for work, keyboard for that, screen. And you can see, like, I'm not going to make this look pretty because this is how I work daily. Still need to do cable management. And then I love that game has these cute little, like, extension cords and colors. So that goes there. And then this big mat, well, you know, mouse pad, so to speak, is actually from Take A Lot. This chair, I'm going to do a full review, is actually from House and Home, believe it or not. It is the most comfortable thing I've ever, ever sat on. The best, best decision. And I bought the black one. There's blue as well in red. And then I've got one of those trays from like, you know, Store and More or Westpac. And then this is all my work stuff and my work laptop. It's basically like just notes and stuff. Because again, I told you this is real life. And then I put my extension cord in the second one so I can easily access it. Then here, I got this from at home. It changes color. The room smells so amazing. Lots of whiteboards because I'm working on a project now. And then I take those like, you know, lap desks and I put it on here. And then I have a standing desk. Um, and this table is actually from Mr. Price home. Then here, so you will see at night, it looks really nice. I've put the LEDs. This entire thing is from Mr. Price. 
and I've just got random boxes, my mic, some books I'm reading, all the Apple stuff I saved, the boxes, earphones, headphone stand, and then of course my three prized possessions and knife works so hard for. I put them up here, and then I've got, ooh, sorry, the light. There we go. This I actually got from Mr. Price Home, and I told you it's my background. Extension cord from Game. This is also a good chair, but I've had it for like three years. This is a Russell Hobbs fan. It's really powerful. And then the same built-in. But you can see, like, I'm not even using these built-ins, and I don't have that much clothes. So I just keep, like, my printer in here, extra boxes and things I need to unpack. So you have a my suitcase for one day when I travel. So, yeah, friends, that is what it's looking like. And a quick pan around again. And then just a normal light. So put this on. Yeah, so this is like where I spend 80% of my time. And I always look and I... Oh, let me show you this carpet. It's got these little nice specks. So it comes alive at night. <laughs> I got this from China Mall. It was so cool. And then that's from Mr. Price. Um, And yeah, it's just crazy because I know like... It's like, do you ever look at places like where you work and you think like you've passed through jobs sitting in the same chair or you've hit a goal and i always get really inspired by my work area so yeah guys that is my house tour i uh, hope you enjoyed and let me know if you want more of these